Super Sunday. It's a win for Wake Forest, 73 to 60 on the road against the Boston College Eagles at County Forum, Chestnut Hill, Massachusetts. Tom Wormy, Stephanie Reddy. And it was a lead of 20 points at one point in the second half for Wake Forest. Boston College, give them a lot of credit, yeah. Steph. They came back into this game and cut it to eight, but it was too much Wake in the end. It was. I mean, they tried their best, Boston College did. They got the ball inside. They started getting easier shots. They had some defensive possessions where they were forcing turnovers and actually had Wake Forest looking rattled a couple of times out there. But it just they did not have enough, and Kerry Shields didn't even get to contribute. How about the play of Cecily Ray with a double-double, 10 points and 12 rebounds, and run on the floor like the star she is for this team and also her teammate, Lakevia Boykin. Those two were amazing, and I had so much fun watching them play, especially Cecily Ray. But look at Boykin, not just knocking down the outside jump shot, taking him off the dribble. And then here's what I love, Caracciolo inside. <laughs> Making it look so easy. Look at her, post position right by the rim. Nothing you can do defensively for that. Part of the second half, it was an 18-point lead at halftime for Wake. But look at Zenovich, battle on the offensive glass. She ended up with 20 points, 10 rebounds, a double-double, and 16 of those 20 in the second half as BC made its move. Very impressive there. I like how she doesn't give up on the offensive putback. Stays right there and toughens it out. And then another look at Boykin off the glass. I don't know if she called it, but it's still good for two. 21 points for Boykin, and then it's Garcia on the offensive glass, and Sandra Garcia coming up with 14 points. She was one of four Wake Forest players. That was in double figures as we take a look at the final numbers. That's really good that they can spread their scoring around like that. You take a look at the field goal percentage and uh, Boston College with 39%. That's not fantastic if you want to try to pull a win off. But one for 12 from behind the arc. If you're missing them that badly in the beginning, start pounding it inside. Open it up a little bit. Points in the paint. Even though Wake won that battle, it's not as bad as it was the last time out. Tessa Holt was the only BC player with the three-pointer. And for Wake Forest, this is a big win. Stops a three-game losing streak for Wake. Huge for Wake, especially this point in the year. They're going into uh, what you can call the easier half. Still not a cakewalk by any means, but compared to playing all those top 25 teams they had in the first half, this is going to be the schedule that they're looking forward to playing. And we're also looking forward to that women's championship tournament of oh, yeah. the ACC on the road to Greensboro. Wake Forest picks up a win in Chestnut Hill, Massachusetts at the Connie Forum against BC. The final once again, Wake Forest 73, Boston College 60.